Hello, hello, welcome. Come on in to Moments of Empowerment and Inspiration. We are excited about what God is doing, not just here, but all yes. over the world. Yes. God is doing some new stuff. And even I, I got I to gotta put this in. Even here at Maranatha, you know, we've all been on this social distancing thing, even our churches. I mean, it's like, and we are people that are relational. Yeah. And that's what makes it so difficult. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, we are when we're used to being prayed for, touched, it, it's, it's been that distance. Mm -hmm. But we're just thanking God. We decided to give Maranatha on Friday night. That's tomorrow night. Yeah. We're just going to come on in at yeah. 7 o'clock p.m. And let's worship with the worship and praise yeah, yeah. and invite the Holy Spirit in. Yeah. And let's yeah. just have old fashioned, old time revival. Yeah, so yeah. come on, come on. God yeah. bless, God bless. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I got our youth pastors here, Pastor Charles and Pastor yeah. Roxanne. Hey, hey, oh, we're going to have a good time. <laughs> These are some young people that love the Lord. And we're just seeing God do phenomenal things, not only through them and what they've done over the years, yeah. but what God is doing here right in our city mm -hmm. and amongst our young people. Yeah. You know, some people say, how much does God love young people? Well, I want you to know, if he didn't care about generations, you wouldn't see all the layers of begot, begot, beget, begot, mm -hmm. because yeah, he's not just concerned about us, yeah. but he's concerned about future generations yeah. Yeah. and our children. Yeah. So when they said, Lord, who is greatest? He said, he brought a child. Mm -hmm. So that lets you know, if you get into that vein, you're into the right. heart of God. Amen. So Amen. we just want to welcome these two. Amen. <laughs> and we're grateful. Yeah. And somebody says, well, what's going on? Let me quickly do that because I don't know where they're going to go. They may get, <laughs> loose, get loose prophesying. They'll tell them what they might do. So I better hurry up and get my stuff out the way. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to really turn them loose. And we'd like to say that even on next week, we're going to see unforeseen challenges amongst young adults during this season. Mm -hmm. uh, Sister Trelina and uh, Brother Greg, which is starting something called the movement. And the move, I'm sorry, I call it a movement because it's going to be a movement. But it's called the move amongst young adults. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's where God is going to move. In fact, that's where I first saw my glimpse of the move of God was really as a very young person, and no one was allowed to come in over 25 years old with Kathleen Kuhlman. And I thought, this has got to be a joke. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, I've never seen things like this. Didn't plan to say this, but I'm sitting over there just kind of checking her out. Mm -hmm. Number one, she didn't look like I thought yeah. she should look. You know, she did, it wasn't a profile. I'm just telling you. And she was weird. I mean, just weird. And so I remember uh, seeing people. She wouldn't even call a prayer line, but say, someone over there, your ear just opened. Somebody would scream. I'd go, hmm, you know, so maybe that was planted. And so then she would stand up. And, and I remember I just said, I'm going to sneak up kind of close because we were doing, and we were with Jimmy McDonald doing a little bit of music. So I, I got, and every time I get closer, I feel this magnet pushing me back. I was like, man, what is that? And then I remember it was a bunch of young people came off of, this was California. They came off the strip and they came, they were coming at her and her uh, bodyguards were going like, no, no. She said, leave them alone. Let them go. They all got near her. She said, Jesus. And they fell over like dominoes. And I'm like, <laughs> wow. what was that? But at the yeah. end of that night, I was convinced whatever that woman got, yeah, come I on. want it. Come on. yeah. I yeah. was convinced, yeah. whatever. Yeah. And so I believe God is getting ready for a move like that yeah. again. Yeah. I mean, I just feel it all in my yeah. spirit yeah. that God's getting ready for a move. And we've just got to get in position for it mm -hmm. to happen. Yeah. So I'm going back to next week. They're going to be talking about young adults. Mm -hmm. And then the week mm -hmm. after... We're going to have Dr. Josephine Whiteley Fields mm -hmm. that uh, was the author of this book with several black clergy women. It's nine of them all together called Pioneer Black Clergy Women. And what they're going to do is talk about the challenges that women face 
But guess what? The victory of how God used women in ministry. Yeah. So just don't just don't give up this week. I know you're gonna get full, yeah. but just come on back. <laughs> we got some more. Yeah. So we want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. And I'm gonna ask these two just to tell us a little bit about their spiritual <laughs> and their natural journeys. And then we're gonna we're gonna even <laughs> bear on off into where God has them in ministry. Now I know if you want to hear more about relationship stories, it's in YouTube. Just go look up, look us up in YouTube, and you'll find some phenomenal relationship stories. But they're gonna give you a little bit of their story, but they're gonna even go off into what's happening with youth and what God is doing today. <laughs> well, I'll I'll start. Um, so I guess we can start with the the, the beginning, which is uh, we we were at church and we worshiped together. We were on the same praise and worship team, um, and so a lot of people think we planned this, but <laughs> we did not plan this because we didn't even speak to each other. We stood right beside each other every Sunday and even at rehearsal, and he was always giving me my notes. Um, yeah. Because he wanted to be an alto so bad. Right. <laughs> and, uh, you know. He knew my note, right? So he would always lean over and be like, hey. right? So I'm like rolling my eyes and stuff. But uh, so, I mean, we sang together for what, like seven years? Yeah. Wow. Seven yeah. years and led worship together and experienced amazing moves of God. But I mean, yeah, we didn't date or anything. So yeah, it was it was crazy because. Uh, yeah, we knew each other, but we didn't. Mm -hmm. I like, we didn't, I didn't look at her like that. She didn't look at me like that. It's just like you know, <laughs> yes, brother, that's sister, that's not, not a ministry person. Yeah, right, exactly. you know, brother, yeah. sister, in Christ. So we yeah. laugh about that, like to this day. Like, dude, what's going on, Sister Rock? What's going yeah. on, Brother Charles? Like, <laughs> it was like that. But um, you know, um, the way we got together, um, and we were just talking about that, like um, when we was at rehearsal, just. Few minutes ago, we got we mm -hmm. got like that, like in the presence of God, like yes. ooh, like not be so churchy, but you know, like it was like worship, like yeah. her worship attracted me to her, wow. you know, my worship attracted me to her to me, yeah. like and even even in that, like it was like we didn't find that out until we got together, like dude, yeah. it was like oh well. You know, I really like when you worship, like you, you're anointed. <laughs> That's you know really what, what happened. Like, like, uh, flashy, Pastor Rock. You know? <laughs> you know, I was like that, like you're real flashy. But no, it was like, it was like, um, mm -hmm. I want to say, during a time in my life, <laughs> in a time in my life, in a time of her life, it was like two broken people yeah. wow. coming together. That's really what, yeah. yeah. It's really like two broken people coming together, and um, you know, we. Uh, no, I'm gonna say God. God mm. kind of, you know, had us in a place where we were broken, like, you know, just not from other relationships, but from, mm -hmm. you know, life itself, mm -hmm. period. You know yes, what I'm saying? Uh, like, yeah. Uh, and, uh, it was a time where, you know, I was coming off a relationship, she was coming off a relationship, and it was just like, you know, well, okay. We're gonna be friends, like, um, like we even mm. it was a funny thing because we didn't talk outside of church. Yeah. I don't know who exchanged numbers or whatever, <laughs> but you know, mm -hmm. Dr. Bev, I don't know, she probably asked for my number. I don't know. <laughs> you wish. I don't know. <laughs> That's his story, but, though. He's thinking to his story. So. Okay. But it was like, you know, we started talking outside of church, and mm -hmm. it was like, you know, okay, court and thing. So uh, with me, like, it was like, okay, you got this church girl. We got this prayer, we got this prophet over here, like she prophesying every Sunday, like, like dude, I got I gotta come to her correct. Like, you know, I gotta come to her correct. Like, you know, I can't I can't I can't pull up on her like hey, hey what's up? Like, you know how you doing? Like, no. Like game and, didn't work. You're right. Didn't work. <laughs> like, you know, okay. I had no. to get in the word, like yeah. this, this chick really know the word. Like she wow. really know the word. And that so. kind of goes back to like what he said with basically how we mm -hmm. met. Like we met during worship, we met mm -hmm. during praise, yeah. we didn't talk in the hallway, we didn't sit by each other in service, okay. like it was literally the mm -hmm. worship. So that basically was really what drew us even closer together mm -hmm. um, to a point where um, I think what really um, made it happen for us is that 
we ended up deciding, okay, well, we're friends, but we feel like, okay, mm-hmm. maybe this can be a little bit more. And so we decided mm-hmm. to pray and to fast. Yeah. Right. So we see what God yeah, was and saying. See what God, what God was like, saying. People might think that's churchy, like, ah, oh, nah, they <laughs> no. like, but that's the way, that's yeah. how I would say, you know, God made me work for her. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say it like that, you know, because uh, you know Jacob had to work for Rachel. Like God That's made right. me work for her. Like, dude, like, no, if you want my child, you want my daughter, no, this is what you're gonna have to do. Right. Like, no, you, I mean, I was coming from, you know, the, the the clubs. I was coming from, you know, the street. Like, I went, and, I was raised in church all my life. You know, sung all my life, praise worship all my life. But you mm. know, it was it wasn't that all all or nothing right. thing. So, right. In other words, you can be in the church, but yeah. the church is not in yes. you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, in other words, a relationship. Right. Exactly. Yes, Girl, ma'am. I didn't have, I knew of God, but I didn't have a relationship with God to where I say, okay, God, yeah, nah, it's all you, not me. No, I was straddled on the fence, like real talk. So I was like, dude, okay. Well, God had to break me on that. Like, okay, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't, we couldn't Netflix and chill. It was kind of like, okay. Next Netflix and, and and be still and know that he was God. So we pray. Open that Bible. Yeah, right. yeah. We yeah. Bible like, too, right? Right? Yes, yes, I, 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 it was never that, you know. And then um, as we went on through mm-hmm. the relationship, you know, we um, it was her desire and my desire, you know, to experience perfect love. Okay. Just because we've been hurt so many times, you know, saying not again, not just because of the people that we're you know, coming right, from, right. but we've been hurt, like trust, yeah. trust issues out there, yes, like from yes. different relationships, you know, different parts of life. Sometimes just from life, life itself, yeah. Yes. yeah, even from yes. you know, not meaning, yes. but yes. even from home. Yeah, right. sometimes a well-meaning, it can mm-hmm. still be a, a injury there, yeah. Yeah. and everybody in there has a different experience. Yeah. So yeah. I think for me, the biggest thing that um, he filled the void on is because, like you know. Um, I grew up in church. I grew up in ministry, started preaching when I was 12, just all of that. And then, you know, was prophesying and everything. And so by the time we got together, all I knew was ministry. Like I didn't Mm -hmm. know anything else. I didn't, you know, have this other side. But at the same time, there's a brokenness that you experience while you're going through ministry. Right. So it's like after, you know, 10 years of that or whatever, you get to a point where you done poured out everything to everybody. You're right. tired. You know, you're you given to everybody else. And it was kind of like I was at a place where I said, Lord, I want something for myself. That's mine. And that's, you know, basically when he hit the scene and I'm like, OK, this must be it. But this didn't really look how I thought it was going to yeah. look. In other words, you know, you had this image in your mind that yeah. this person was going to come. And mm-hmm. what we do many times, that, that it's, we're going to get this perfect yeah. mate. Yeah. But we're not perfect. Yeah. And the person that God brings to us is not perfect. We're all a work in progress. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, it was uh, just piggybacking off of what y'all saying, mm-hmm. I guess. We imagine people to be that, that all perfect. You know, that perfect list we got, like, oh, yeah, it's going to be, you know, five, nine, and, and all this with pretty <laughs> eyes and all this, you know. Yeah. We mm-hmm. imagine that, but it, it goes back to, like, okay, God, who do you imagine me right. to be with? Yeah. You right. know, yes. who do you imagine me, me to be with? And, you know, coming off of, you know, um, I had a kid when I was 17, you know, had to yeah. finish school yeah. um, in the summertime, you know, because I I'm, you know, my testimony is, you know, my dad was never in my was never in my life. Okay. So he was in prison, you know. So you know, I had a kid early age, like early yeah. age, still uh, senior year in high school. Had mm-hmm. my had my son, love to this day, man, it's my guy. Um, and um, my thing was okay. I didn't want to be like my dad. I didn't want to be like my dad. So I'm like working, I'm working, I'm working. So during that mm-hmm. relationship, you know, having kids had a way of life, you know. Uh, went through that, those relationships, it was like, you know, it was a trust issue for me because, you know, I wanted, you know, I wanted the family, you know, I wanted love, but, you know, I didn't really know how to get there. And, okay. You, know, uh, what, first, you didn't have the example <clears throat> that you needed. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So um, um, when she was like, okay, I want to experience perfect love, you know, I want to experience perfect love, you know, 
um, we had to look up that thing like, you know, what is perfect love? Okay, perfect love. Bible says perfect love casts out all, all fear. fear. Yeah. All right. So we had to get rid of that fear sure. and Boy. break those walls <laughs> down to start even trusting each other to even, you know, um, yeah. move yeah. in yeah. closer. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, you yeah. know, and even in a uh-huh. relationship, we had to start. So um, we start. Like, you're you going to hurt me too. Right. Yeah. We it was, that, it was those walls. Yeah. Yeah. It was those walls. Like, not saying we had all a perfect relationship. No, it was like, okay, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back up over here this day, okay? Um, um, how about I see you tomorrow and all that? Like, dude, it was it was real talk. It was real relationships. And, you know, but at those times, you know, God reminded us, like, okay, if y'all want, if you really want perfect love, you really want perfect love. Start studying what love is. So we went through, you know, First yeah. Corinthians 13. Okay. You know how it um, dissects love. Love mm-hmm. is patient. Love is kind. Love right. is yes. Love is that. Right. And, and but like you <laughs> know, as it as it yeah. as it got middle, what midway through that chapter, um, Paul starts talking about like when I was a child, I um, spake as a child, mm-hmm. understood as a child, thought as a child. But when right. I became a man, I, I had to put a child away. Yes. Put away childish things. Okay. So dealing with me now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Not even on her. God really had to deal with me like, okay, what is what is your system? What do you, what do you think love is? How do, how, mm-hmm. how are you going to uh, dissect your 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 love system? How mm-hmm. how you speak about it? How you understand it? And how you think about it? He was like, okay, how do you how how are you how are you going to do that? Because mm-hmm. you know you've been through this relationship, you've been through that relationship. You know that one didn't work. This one didn't work. Okay, now you hear. Okay, you have what you say you want. Now, okay, let me teach you how to love. This is what love is. Yeah. So, okay, mm-hmm. what are you doing? What are your barriers to yeah. st- stopping you from love? And oftentimes we think about it like, mm-hmm. you know, oh man, it's you. It's you. You the, right. you the problem. You yeah. the problem. Right. We don't ever think yeah. of us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We don't never think yeah. about like you know, those fingers. Yeah. You're yeah. pointing and they're yeah. Yeah. pointing back. back yeah. at you. We don't think about yeah. it. <laughs> So God had to really deal yeah. with me first, like, and my brokenness, like, hey, okay, this is love. This is what love is. This is your system of love, okay? How you speak about it, how you understand it, and how you think. Okay, speak about it. What are you saying? Are you saying, okay, you get on my nerve all the time? Are you saying, oh, you you, you dumb, you stupid, you ugly, all this? How are you speaking about it? Or are right. you saying, okay, I'm going to love you perfectly um, yeah. throughout all this. Oh, yeah. I'm going to love you like this. So and you, uh, yeah. 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 And then I think for me, on my end, it was the trust part of the love where it says perfect love cast out all fear because I couldn't be afraid to go through his process with him. Yeah. Okay. And so it was like, Lord, I know you told me before we got buried that he is this and to speak this into him and mm-hmm. speak this over mm-hmm. his life. And so I did that. But then, you know, I think oftentimes as a woman, we think, hey, man, you know, God, mm-hmm. God gave me this amazing man and he got and a he job. Gonna take care he going to take care of me. Yeah, yeah. He going to take care of me. Right. He treat me right. But then we don't realize that men go through so right. much more than what we, you know, go through with. They yeah. got to carry the weight of the family. They right. got to carry the weight of if the bills are paid or not. Right. You know, they have to carry all of this other weight. And then with us having a blended family, that weight was even greater because right. he had to navigate through different households, including right. his own. Yes. And then we start having children. And then if, if, you know, there was times where he got laid off. Right. So it was all of yes. these things happening. And it was like I had to trust god enough that the right. word that yeah. god spoke to me concerning him was going to come to pass whether okay. he knew how to love me or not right. and i think that was my biggest hurdle was not to give up that faith in that fight because mm-hmm. the word talks about how a saved woman can sanctify her whole home okay. All right. and so i had to speak that over my my house while god was taking him through his process so mm-hmm. that was my greatest challenge was to not be afraid to still love him while God was teaching him how to love him. God. In other words, it's two imperfect people coming together. Yeah. But sometimes we're so busy licking our own wounds yeah. that we don't see where the yes. other person yes. is hurting. Yes. Yes. But that's why God is, uh, wants yes. us yes. to say, look at that person as I see yeah. them yeah. and not as you see them yeah. from your perspective. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, and that was one of the biggest things that we we had to do, even when there was times where uh, he caused an intense fellowship, aka argument, right? Yeah. So in those times of intense fellowship, um, we had to sometimes we would just walk away or we would bust out laughing at each other mm-hmm. because one, we knew we were being petty, right? And mm-hmm. then two, we also knew like this is just for us to get our mind off of the main thing, and the main thing is us right. growing in God growing our family whatever the root of this issue is which a lot of times because we both were hurt it was a spirit of offense yeah. yes yeah. so i'm getting offended at him because he did something and he's getting offended with me because, and, uh, yeah and yeah. so i think even at when we get in our marriage like we cannot lose that ground of the prayer that brought us together yeah. we cannot right. lose the ground of the warfare because there's warfare in marriage and yes, oftentimes I think we think we're fighting our spouse or our spouse is mm-hmm. fighting us. And really, it's a greater enemy mm-hmm. working on the mm-hmm. inside of them that's trying to keep them from their purpose because right. if the enemy can keep them from his purpose and he can keep me from mine and he can keep right. our kids from theirs. Mm-hmm. And, and, and that's what, there's a whole, yes. there's a whole uh, what they call a uh, 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 snowball yes, effect. Yes, and ma'am. what happens is. The people you're supposed to affect, the people you're supposed to bring to the kingdom yes. are also uh, healed off yes. because the two of you. Exactly. And I exactly. had to begin to yeah. notice yeah. what the enemy was doing. Like I said, we started pastoring early. You got mm-hmm. babies, you know, little yeah. kids. Yeah. Yeah. I think my daughter might have been, how was Tranesha? Maybe about three. Oh, wow. You know, and you're trying to pastor someone, mm-hmm. you know, and there's, I had Tranesha. And Trenton and then Javon. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was like, here, here's these babies. Right. And I had to notice the enemy's pattern. Mm-hmm. We have to watch his pattern. Yes. I noticed what ever right. was going yeah. to crash. Yeah. It always started yes. near the weekend. Yes. So we couldn't be you affected. For Sunday. Yes, yes right. ma'am. You know, right. yes. you see people that we drive up and they're looking at their. And it was Check funny because we led yeah. worship yeah. together, you know, <laughs> so you imagine right. that we're trying to get, you know, five children <laughs> ready for service on yeah. Monday morning and pile up in what we yeah. just call the clown car because we have this little red car. You try to put everybody in there and get to church 15 minutes away and then you get there and you're just so frustrated yeah. Yeah. and then you have to break all of that off in order to minister and prophesy to the people and then you go home and you realize the dishes still aren't done right and that thing that you argued about before you went to church is still, still sitting there, right there. there and nobody tells you how to navigate through that and so you just pour yourself out to everybody else and you don't have anything to yes. give one another and i remember what bishop said and everybody first they go huh yeah. he said we have never mm-hmm. in all of these years had a single argument oh wow. and everybody going Wow. How'd you do that? He said they've all been doubles and triples. Doubles and triples. They weren't singles. I thought they were intense. Right. Yeah. 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 They, they they intense yeah. But that foundation balances right. all up. You know what I'm saying? We had every time we argued, it was it was we could go back to that foundation of okay, all right, all right. God, you're first. Yeah. Okay. Is this a little guy for my life? Yes. Okay, then, okay, let me navigate through this. Yeah, let me yeah. nav- navigate through this season. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. and then uh, what we had to do was that we didn't really know and we didn't really start seeing until, you know, 13 years after. <laughs> like, dude, we start. <laughs> what um, the enemy was really doing. Yeah. 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 Bet she had me decreeing stuff in the morning, like, hey, we about to say all these decrees. So we came up with, <laughs> with uh, declar- declarations that we were going to yes. say every day. Every day. That's good. Every day. Because so by we, the words of your mouth, yeah. right, right. you speak. Yeah. Right. Like uh, what Proverbs 19, right. uh, I believe it's 21, yeah. right up yeah. in there it says, the power of life, life and, and death, death is yeah. in your tongue. Yeah. Yeah. So we love, start yeah. speaking that thing, like yeah. for real, like, like okay, um, even when we, it, when we was dating, it was like, mm-hmm. okay, call you right before I go to work. Okay, yeah, let's say our degrees, you know. Yeah, I yeah, do yeah. It, but, uh, <laughs> We're blessed, nothing I missed, said, nothing broke, and we blessed until all the families like of the, yeah. Yeah. Our yeah. earth are blessed. We got plenty of more yeah. to put in store. Yeah. We got abundant cash flow. Even though we was broke, right? Bro, <laughs> yeah. Right. But that helped us. And right, yeah. like, to see, to yeah, yeah. the bigger yeah. picture. Yeah. Yes. 
And so, now our children are saying yeah, those declarations. Right. Oh, praise because God. Because yeah. we see for the fruit of those early. declarations. Yeah. We see the fruit of those declarations. Like, yeah. Damn. We, yeah. we, we, we didn't see them back then. Like, no, dude, no we couldn't uh, bless Because I know we people wonder on we Sunday blessed. morning, why do we do the 15 Freedom Truth? Because there's so many people yeah. in the congregation, yeah. all of us, need to hear ourselves say, yeah. I choose not to be offended. Yeah. Yeah. We need to hear ourselves yeah. say that the yeah. power of life and death yeah. is in our tongue. Yeah. In other words, we need to begin to say these things. Yeah. Yeah. If we say them, yeah. 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 we'll have what we say. It will. It yeah. will. If we believe it. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. that was the thing. We believe that, you know, even though we don't mm -hmm. want to do it, we believe that. And God end up showing, you know, and building showing that himself foundation. Light. Yes, yes. Right. and giving us some favor. Yeah. I would say we had a lot of favor mm -hmm. um, in areas where, I mean, we, we laugh about it all the time. Like, we don't even know how we got here sometimes, you know. It's just like <laughs> yeah. a wing and a prayer in the favor of God. Because, yes. you know, if, if, you know, people really yeah. knew the fullness of where we came from, they wouldn't even fathom like god can do that with yes. two baby mamas and a wife and, right. and six kids yeah, in a right. compact car and folks you know and, yeah, yeah. And, and it's just like it it I, I guess the biggest thing is that we know now now our passion is just to really encourage people and say hey, look y'all yeah. can make it you can do it oh, I love that. it. that's what we you say about when we talk about these unforeseen relationship stories that is the one thing i always say what is the victory at the end yeah. of this yeah. of this challenge yeah. What is the victory? Yeah. You're gonna have challenges. Yeah. I mean, hey, like my dad said, yeah. tongue and teeth are in the same mouth, and they yeah. fall out sometimes. Come on. Come but on. you can't throw yeah. throw one out without yeah. the other. Yeah, they all work together. They all work together. But what I love about the word is that I think it says all things work together for the yeah. good of those who love the Lord and are yeah. called according to His purpose. And so yeah. that's the biggest thing that we all had to keep going back. Like He says, they grow up together because He talks about the wheat and the chaff both grow yeah. together. Yeah. Or the they grow together. And so He says they grow together. And I'm like, Lord, it's got to work together. If it's gonna grow together, y'all gonna work together. Yeah. And y'all gotta work for our good. And so that's what we're seeing. Like even the things that we thought God could not use, the yeah. the stuff we right. even probably don't even want anybody to know. Yeah. And in the course of our marriage, God, God will pull this nugget out and we'll give yeah. it to somebody. And we're like, oh, man, we forgot we went through that. Oh, right. man, we forgot we didn't yeah. have no money to our name that day. Or, yeah. oh, man, we, we forgot we had this challenge we with our child. God. And yeah. yes, we watched God work. And so to really be able to 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 walk the way we walk and to have the commitment to God the way we do is because he's kept yes, us. Yes, yes, yes. Like yes. he's kept us even like how, you know, the mother say when we didn't want to be kept because sometimes right, right. we can look at each other and be like, not today, friend, you know, right? <laughs> like we don't want to be kept today. Yeah, but I both. think, yeah, going in knowing and the other last thing that we did was we went in saying this divorce was not an option for oh, us. There you go, yeah. there you go. So we couldn't even, we couldn't get out because we said before we even, right. you know, got married, we looked at each other and he was like, divorce is an option. I said it back to him. Divorce is not an option. And so even on our worst, worst days, day, where every part of us is broken and maybe even every part of our relationship was yeah. broken, we looked at each other before we closed our eyes. It was like, yeah, it ain't an option. Like, I might not like you right now, but it ain't an option. Right, right. You know? And that's the one thing that <laughs> Doc and I made a conscious effort to say yeah. is that it was two things we were not going to do and that's refuse to speak to each other mm -hmm. or refuse to answer or refuse to talk mm -hmm. you know yeah. this shutdown where people just go yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, we made our minds up that would not happen mm -hmm. and then the second thing was that we would not say divorce yeah. we'll not say well we'll just divorce. in all the 40 something years that's the one thing those are the two things we didn't do. Now, I'm not saying I was chatty Kathy. Yeah. I, I might have been a, the, the, the conversation might have been short. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I said something. Yeah. You know, right. you, you don't have an option yeah. not to, to give a person a full, yeah. silent yeah. treatment. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, God allow you, and I'm going to give it back to you all, to go through some things mm -hmm. to help you to make those decisions. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember I was at my dad's church. And, you know, we would sell those stuff, dinners, everything. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what we did in Bakersfield, California, in the Church of God in Christ. We sold dinners, barbecue dinners, fried chicken dinners. <laughs> and so I remember going over this couple's house. They were young, and they're uh, probably their 30s or 40s. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember going, 
And I could feel, now that was before I got married, mm -hmm. I could feel this, this, this um, distance mm -hmm. between them. They were like, hi, Bev. I mean, the, the husband was like, hey, Bev. Yeah, he was about 42, I remember now. Mm -hmm. he, and I said, hey, how are you? And the wife was just kind of, you know, kind of cold, but mm -hmm. hi. And I said, I can tell there is something yeah. between them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they said bye. And I laughed and I laughed and said, you know, and we hear, we get a phone call that he was working on construction in his and just passed away. We don't know. I mean, uh, uh, he was very fit. Everything just died on the job. Mm -hmm. And they said that they had to come, you know, the kids mm -hmm. and everybody said, mm -hmm. and knock on the door. And when it happened that night, they had a disagreement. He slept on the couch. Oh, boy. When he left, he never said, got a chance to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. They never got to resolve it. They never got to talk about it. And he was gone to work and the next thing she got was a knock on the door and when she got that knock on the door it was uh some police officers telling her that he mm -hmm. was deceased that mm -hmm. he passed away and i had never seen anybody age in five days like she did a beautiful woman mm -hmm. but she i mean it looked like someone that grimaced mm -hmm. her face and i remember mm -hmm. when she came toward the coffin you know i was a musician and I was sitting there, I mean, it was just crushing my heart. She was screaming his name and just saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please. You know, and I just thought, God, this can I can never do this. Yeah. Lord, don't ever yeah. let me walk out and say nothing yeah. to my husband yeah. when I get married. Yeah. And I remember she told me, she said, whatever you do, because she knew I was engaged. She said, whatever you do, do not, do not let this happen. Do not let this happen to you. Yeah. And I mean, it, it clenched my heart. Yeah. Yeah. And I told my husband, this can never happen. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. care what. I said, if it's the last day yeah. we see each other, yeah. it don't need to be yeah. a, I didn't get a chance to say, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Because yeah. yeah. that's why the Bible says, don't allow, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Yeah. It tells us that. Yeah. But that was the reality of yeah. seeing it happen. Yeah. So if anybody's out there and you're yeah. angry, yeah. please forgive. Yeah. If you've yeah. never done anything yeah. else, yeah. you don't know when is the last yeah, time you, yeah. you see a person. Yeah. And, and I just, I, I want to uh, just say, like, even tag on what Dr. Bev just said, forgive and forgive with some grace. Yeah. Yes. And that's something that we had to walk in. I mean, there was so many I, I forgive you back and forth and yes. and it was just like, oh my gosh, sometimes I felt like I was just saying it just to say mm -hmm. it and and sometimes it felt like it was even forced sometimes, but I I had to go back to the word where yes. it's, the guy talks about for us to forgive right others so yes. that he will forgive, forgive us. us and it's like how can we be a testimony and a light to our spouse whether they're they're on our level or not say or or not, if we if we're As holding we yeah, yeah. Okay. or if yeah. we're holding the one thing that jesus gave us yeah. So if we want to get mad at them for this, yeah, but still walk in forgiveness because yeah. you still have to be That's the light, right. even when they are not in the best place. And right. it goes back to the word saying that the strong bear the infirmities of the, the weak. weak. Yeah. Well, yes. sometimes if somebody in your house is going to be the weak one that That's you right. have to bear the yeah. infirmities of. And notice somebody's strong mm -hmm. where the other one is weak. Yes. Yeah. Somebody, I yeah. mean, it's amazing yeah. how God put yeah. the... Uh, <laughs> Yes. Uh, he always put a tight wad with a right. spin thread. Yes. You know, I mean, it's yes. amazing yeah. how yeah. God does it. Yeah. Somebody who maybe a hot head and the other one is almost too cool. Yeah. I mean, it's just God yeah. just does that yeah. to allow us to balance and rub off on each other. Yeah. Yeah. And whatever is your weakness, it's his strength. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever is his strength, it might be yeah. your weakness. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that really worked well with us. Mm -hmm. uh, because, uh, like, you know, she talked about favor, and the Bible says, okay, when the husband finds a wife, he found favor. Yes. I was like, man, that really worked because, you know, I would get into it maybe with uh, baby mamas or whatever. Sure. And she would come at like, hey, how, what about this? Like, and she might mm -hmm. be right, you know, like, see it on your baby mama side. So she would give me mm -hmm. that peace, like, okay, yeah, I didn't think about it like that. Like, right. You, you're really supposed to be on my side, but you know, <laughs> I really didn't think about it like that. So 
She yeah. gave me that peace and you know and that's Thank God she I was the woman with you know with that, that wisdom, kind of wisdom. You know? yeah. yeah, that was wisdom, you know. The Bible refers to a woman as her as wisdom. I mean mm -hmm. as wisdom as her as Bible. Her, yeah. yeah. So she gave me that wisdom and that foundation, like, okay, yeah, well no, let's do it like this. No, we're not gonna do yeah. that, you know, and as a father, mm -hmm. you know, having you know, uh you know, two kids in two different households. Um, sure. Well, I mean, well, four kids and and two sets in two different households. It was yeah. like, you know, I was kind of like the firefighter. You know, I would run <laughs> to you know <laughs> the hottest fire. Like, okay, yeah, yes. put that fire out. Then you know, go over here, put that fire out, and then you know, what I'm saying, go back mm -hmm. over here, put this fire out, and then go back over there, put that fire out. Right. You know, right. To the point where I was just going around in the circle, felt like I was going around in the circle, <laughs> yeah, yeah. just trying to put fires yeah. out. You know, and um, you know, and I say that to the fathers, like you know, you can, you right. can really make no it. What you, you know, what you've been through, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. No yeah. What, you've gone you through, know, yeah. Like, dude, you guys can, you can be a blended family, and y'all yeah. all can get along without, you know, baby daddy and baby mom sleeping together or whatever. You yeah. know, what I'm saying y'all yeah. can get along. Yeah. You know, it's all about how you speak about it, how you understand yeah. it, and how you think about it. You right. gotta put those yeah. childish things away. You come into the away. things of God, yeah. 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 and like you said, you can bless yeah. a family that yeah. appears to yes. be. Well, how can God bless this? Mm -hmm. He blesses what He gives you. Yeah. You know, yeah. offspring, yeah. children yeah. belong yeah. to the Lord, yes. Yes. and He has a love for them, mm -hmm. and that's why, even like you said. You say, well, Lord, why do I have to go through all? And guess mm -hmm. what? That's why you all are so effective in ministering to families, to young people, to people that come together. Mm -hmm. You say, well, I've been through that, and I'm going to tell you, don't go this direction. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. Yeah. but I'm going to tell you what God can do yeah, in, in the midst yeah, of come it. On. Come on, that's yeah, it. You know, yeah. I'm going yeah. to tell you what God can do. Yeah, God. Uh, yes. It was prophesied Thank over you, our relationship, like, hey, Mm -hmm. Y'all marriage, y'all family, y'all, y'all, y'all relationship is gonna be a beacon to other yes. relationships. And we get anything like where is that at? Where you see that at? Yeah. Let me know. <laughs> let me know where you see that at. <laughs> exactly. But right. you know, we didn't see that at the time, but as we went along, you know, mm -hmm. uh we was dealing with uh six other couples and you know, as those uh, as mm -hmm. we went uh, like we was married first and then the next couple and next couple, we was all hanging together. And those couples started to get divorced. And I think mm -hmm. it was only like one couple one that's that's oh, still wow. together, you know, out of six couples. Yeah. You mm. know, and we uh, we kind of, we in constant covenant with them. Yeah. Um, but it was like, you know, like it was our relationship was that okay, hey, you can do this, you can do this, you can do that. You can do it. And do yeah. that. Yeah. Hey bro, let me put yeah. you to the side. Yeah. No. Yes. Let's think about yes. it like this. Even yeah. though they went away and they went their separate ways, it was like, right, okay, right. well, maybe, you know, but that's you, did your, you, know yeah. you yeah. did your job. You did your job. But yeah. then when we come, you know, administer outside or administer, you know, in the house now, it's like, okay, yeah, like, okay, this is why we went through all this. Yes. This is yes. why you had to go through that. This is why you had to have babies out of way a lot and then get married and then mm -hmm. be effective. Like, and and like you say, God you know, can yeah. use anything. Yeah. He allows. Yeah. Yes, he and like you say, you had come from Dude. from yeah. the house yeah. where you didn't have a father, yeah. where it wasn't that someone to nurture you and yeah. pour yeah. into yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm watching, I mean, I'm just watching yeah. the various yeah. ones that and the compassion you yeah, have yeah, yeah. and the more that you're pouring into them mm -hmm. is because God poured into you. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. Um, <laughs> Bishop pulled me to the side. Um, um, it was where we first came and he was ministering to me mm -hmm. like, you know, from, you know, the standpoint of a father, like, you know, yes. you, you really brought this, you know, God had to cocoon you you know, and mm -hmm. maybe keep you away from your father or keep you away from yes, certain situations. Yes to where you can now blossom and now you can grow. Now you can reach back. My dad just got out of uh, prison, what, two months ago. Okay. Now you can reach back and grab your dad like, hey, God did yeah. this for me. God yeah. did this for me. Now yeah. you can forgive yeah. and forget like she said. Yes. And now we can move on and then you can bless other people. That's right. You know? yeah. so, and forgive. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think uh, one of the, like I said, one of the most phenomenal stories to me yeah. was uh, Joyce Myers mm -hmm. to yeah. be able to go back and love mm -hmm. a father yeah. that abused you yeah. from childhood? Yeah. Yeah. 
and then you end up having to take him into your home yeah. and she's and you can tell it was a genuine love you end up leading him to the lord yeah. and i say god that is just to me an amazing story when people come to me i say yeah. look if she can do that with her yeah. own yeah. biological father i know yeah. That God yeah, can, can yeah. do anything. Yeah, do yeah. Yeah. Love, love is a fact. It's a sacrifice. Yeah. Like you have yes, to sacrifice. Is. And I think often we don't want to sacrifice our pride. We That's don't want right. to sacrifice our own agendas. Mm -hmm. We don't want to sacrifice our own dreams, our goals. Right. Like there's dreams that he had to sacrifice because he loved his children and he loved sure. our family. Sure. There's dreams that I had to sacrifice because I was a ministry go getter back then. <laughs> and he would pull my coat up like, where's dinner? You know, <laughs> and sometimes I'll be like, mm, have several seats, Roxanne, you know, and I had to listen to that because at the end of the day, I couldn't be chasing ministry when ministry was my house. Yeah. Right. You right. know, and so, I had, to, exactly. so yeah. I had to begin to nurture my home and yes. not running away from yeah. it and into ministry because I would hide in ministry yes. to forget what I'm doing at home. And mm -hmm. I had to just remember that process. Like I have to sacrifice. Even right. when it looks like the other person might not be because I don't know what his sacrifice is. Right, right. And now that we've been in this thing for almost 13 years, it's like, oh, well, yo, yeah, I didn't know you gave that up for me. Thank you. Yeah, right, right. right. You know? Yeah. Now. And sometimes we have to give up yeah. our dream. Yeah. And sometimes our dream was not going to go where we thought Come in the on. first place. Yeah. 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 It's really not. More heartbreak. <laughs> really. Yeah. God said, I withhold no good oh, thing yeah. from yeah. you. Yeah. So yeah. if it was going to be good, he would add it in. Exactly. Like when it was time for me to go back to school, I I was like, I gave up. Mm -hmm. I really did. And people said, well, I remember a lady came here. She said, you need to go back to school in the counseling. Mm -hmm. I, and I was just looking at her like, not with <laughs> all these kids. Mm -hmm. I said, I got five kids. I got all of this going on in ministry. I can't. God has a way of sneaking yes, I'm going to stuff in on you. Mm -hmm. It was a lady across the street from me, and she's still living. She's much, much, much older and going through some things, but she lived across the street, Miss LaVera Brown. I mean, I love her to this day. She said, Beth, why don't you just ride with me? Mm -hmm. She was my mom's age. She said, ride with me just down to UD. I need to pick up some classes. Oh, well, I just said, well, I might as well do something on a Monday night. Mm -hmm. And Doc said, go on. I went. I sat with her in the back of the class. Wow. And it was funny how they had just the time at UD, University of Dayton, <laughs> that they would they that you didn't have to take a test to get in. It was just a special, wow. special time that you could take a class. <laughs> and I just said, <laughs> and I sat in her class and I was like, mm, I don't like what's going on here. But I kept sitting and put some papers together. Another teacher walked in, an older man, and he began to talk about psychology of individual differences. It was like the man was preaching to me. And her class was three units. This was four. I dared to, I said, well, I might as well get in. I don't have to take a test. I hate that. So I got in. Do you know I got an A in that class? I mean, God was, was in it. And then they said, well, you can take up to so many units. And I did all the way up to nine or 10 units. And then they went and looked at my stuff, my undergrad stuff, and said, you don't have to take the grad test. Yeah. And I mean, I just watched God, yeah. what he did. I, I wasn't seeking it, but God was saying, now I need you to move on. Yeah. And then he began to open the other doors. Yeah. And I ended up with not one, but two doctorate degrees that I didn't even think I could do, yeah. and that you uh, and I said, my husband, my husband said, you came out of UD magna cum laude, no yeah. summa cum laude, yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, oh Lord, I thought you came out of Lordy, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with all this stuff going on. <laughs> but I'm just saying, yeah. God can show you yeah. when your time is right, yes. when He has something planned yes. for you, yes. He will pull you. Yes, he will. You don't have to say, well, God, I'm a mom. I'm, no, he yeah. will work it out. Yeah. Yeah. He will work the details out. Yeah. And we don't have to neglect home our children yes. or anything else. Because yes. yes. that's yes. out of order. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right. Yes. right. God can definitely right. navigate you and, and my right. if you're in I think it's all about positioning. 
Mm-hmm. You know, Bishop is going on alignment right now. Yes, he's dealing position. with alignment. Yes. It, matter of fact, the position of our hearts, our heart yes, posture. Yes. yes. It was yes. our heart posture that said, okay, God, mm-hmm. all right. Yeah, I'm gonna let you do this. I'm gonna let you navigate me this way. I'm gonna let you navigate mm-hmm. me this way. And then we were finding our way. Yes. And God was just opening up the door because mm-hmm. the words that we already spoke was the key. Like, hey, all right, you said you was gonna do this. All right, now you said do, do it. Right. And you all moved into yeah. when you even here in Dayton, driving from Cincinnati, when you did not even see right. what yeah. God was yeah. doing. And, and we, yeah. we brought you here on a whim to do something. Yeah, I, this happened. I picked you up off Facebook. I and I said, oh, this is my baby that used to be in our church. Let's just talk. Right. And I mean, not knowing what God was going yeah. to do yeah. with that That's one right. little piece. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. one little yeah. piece. Yeah. You know, when you say, I'm going to pick up, and the enemy said, they're going to think you, and you don't, don't be called. She don't want to be bugged, but, you know, <laughs> and you call and just say, I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. So I'm just encouraging people, and I'm going to have you all just, just, just what God is doing, even amongst the youth mm-hmm. here at Hype Ministries. You all minister every Sunday. It's not just a one time mm-hmm. every yeah. once in a while, but the youth hear spiritual things on their level, yeah. and then the Zoom on Tuesday night. So, I mean, I know God's about to do some explosions. Yeah. I, I, I see it. Yeah, God is definitely moving. Like, um, like you said, we we didn't even plan to be here. Like, it was just okay. Let's go up and minister, do do, and then come back. Uh-huh. Do a party uh, show. Uh, yeah, that's what that was about. Puppet show. show. Oh God, God, had, it was funny, man. It was funny. We was at the, we was at the lock in. You know, you know, they stayed up to about like five in the morning. So we ain't, we didn't really get to go to sleep. So we just sitting there, and then I kind of dozed off. God I was like, dude. Need you to go up here. I need you to stay up here. This is home. This is yeah. They need you. Well, like yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. I'm so like, he comes I'm and knocking, trying. knocking on the girl's door, like, hey. And I'm coming out the room, like, what? And he's like, every Sunday we got to be here every Sunday. And I'm like, what? <laughs> hold on. I'm usually the one committing to ministry on like this greater level. I'm like, hold on, I come oh, back. Man. Like you mean yeah. every Sunday we got to drive an hour. Which is funny because, you know, how I met him was I was still living in Dayton and my wow. parents drove an hour to go to church in Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah. So wow. now we did that for eight years and then now we got to drive coming this way. Right, so right, I was right, like, right, guys, right. you got jokes. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. like, they're ridiculous. Yeah, he, I mean, I <laughs> wow. Like, yeah, they need consistency. They need, yeah. they need mm-hmm. what y'all have. And God they knew what, what they needed. Yeah. I mean, I was able to pinch hit and do this that. Saying God fix it, you know, yeah. not knowing you. Yeah. Like but but then to come in and to not only feel um to feel them, but for them to receive us. Yeah. Because yes. I think a lot of times it's different. Some people think that they could just go and do yeah. ministry. And like, you yeah. you yeah. cannot. Like you have right. to be welcomed into the fold. Because right. oh, baby, if these young folks right. don't want they, you, they, 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 they gonna do. be like return to sender back. Like, you know, <laughs> and that's the end. That they you know, down. or they I mean, stop showing up. But what we saw was an increase in them yeah. coming, and yeah. I'm like. We talking back and forth, and I'm like, what what are we doing? What's happening here? Like, what's going on? What's God? What's the next move? And they kept coming, and then they kept calling, then they kept texting, they saying, When's the next thing? When's the next thing? When's the next? And I'm like, What's next? Because we didn't know. Like, we genuinely was just like, Okay, we're going with God, and okay, we're here. And and then it just it went on from there to where now, like, I mean, they they are on fire, like they 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 on fire. I think we have been here a year. Yeah, for sure. Wow, here in a couple months. Look at God. Mm, Crazy. The growth that God has done in the hype in the in the life of Mm -hmm. every youth person under hype. Yes. It's been it's, phenomenal. Every and yeah. holy youth Every, pursuing yes. excellence. Yes. And yes. we drive that. Yes. 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 We drive that. Yes. 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 And now holy they youth are pursuing really excellence. pursuing excellence. Like yes. it's not just okay, hype new ministry. No, it's the hype brand. Like, no, holy youth pursuing excellence. Right, okay. right. I'm wearing this at school. I'm wearing this. No. Yeah. They they are holy youth pursuing excellence, and, and, you know, and they don't have it all yeah. right. You know, who does? We don't even have it all right. <laughs> right. You know? right. But they're pursuing it. 
I, that's the yeah, thing. they're pursuing. They're, they're, they're growing in the things of God, and I think there's so sometimes too when we look at youth or children's ministry or even ministry with adults, we think people are growing because they're showing up, and it's a lie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a lie. Yeah. You no. can show up all day and not grow up. Okay, I'm like, and yeah, so you're like, it, it, the way that we're seeing them grow is that they're holding down jobs and they're coming to yeah. Bible study, yeah. or they're holding down mm-hmm. jobs and they're still coming to church, and not only that, but then they're witnessing. To the people at their job, yeah, bring they're witnessing, bring, bring, bring yeah, bring bringing their friends to church, witnessing right. them at church. Little AJ yeah. been off the chain, you know. Yeah. He got on Bible study, hell, yeah. He got on Bible yeah. study a couple nights ago. He was like, "I just want to tell y'all what happened to me today. Yeah. I got, I got filled with, I got with speaking in tongues, and he's just crying and speaking in tongues, and he started preaching about Israel and telling us to pray for Israel, and then yeah, and then we got some other ones that are coming up where they just on fire." for God and quoting scriptures and giving revelation. I got a baby that was texting me earlier talking about, hey, I'm reading in Genesis because we don't just like preach to them. We literally go through verse by verse and break it down with them. It doesn't matter if it's Sunday or if it's Tuesday. We make them pull out their phones, dictionaries and everything. They got to find out what it means. We read three different translations and we'll literally sit with one scripture for like a month. Until wow. they get it, they and then yeah, they, they gotta understand, understand because what yeah, understand right, Bible. and that's the word. So that it, they may know the hope yeah, of their calling, yeah. and I think a yeah. lot of it is is that we pour word out on them, yeah. but it yeah. doesn't get poured into them. Okay, and so the goal is, hey, we want your eyes to be open. What do you think this scripture means? Yeah, yeah. and so we do it collectively as that's a group good. so that that's we can good. hold each other accountable for growth. So wow. they're on awesome. fire. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I just thank God, you know, because he has assigned us, not just Maranatha, but assigned all of us, wherever you are, wherever you're looking, wherever you are, wherever you're planted, he has assigned you for a purpose. And we are to pass it in generations, not just keep it within ourselves, but we've got to pass this. They've got to learn. They've got to grow. When Azusa Street started, it was with young folks. It was right. with young yeah. folks. And I mean, yeah. that little Bunny Bray house, I've been there. Yeah. I've been there. Mm-hmm. That Bunny Bay, Bray house, you can feel the anointing even on the premises. And they talk it, yeah. about how they yeah. came and the firemen came and the, the policemen yeah. came. And they would come up to throw them out and start speaking in tongues like AJ did. Yeah. I thought about yeah. COVID. Yeah. They, 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 yeah. the, yeah. they just be, and then they're looking at each other and, yeah. guess, and God was moving. Yeah. And he's about to do the Come same on. thing. Yes. What do you think all yes. this COVID mess is yes. about? Yes. All of this shut yes. down. Yes. God told me people would yes. be underground, growing yes. at a rate you yes. can't imagine. Yes. And then they would come up Come on. worse than these cicadas. Yes. Yes. Come, come up doing a thing on. for God. Come so praise on. God. And We're and growing. And not yes. only yes. that, like if you look at that history mm-hmm. and then you look at Maranatha's history, like, you know, I, this is home. Like I grew up here. Yeah. And and we even have been, have been sharing with hype like it's time for y'all to do it again. You know, it's one reason why this again. building was built is because we were exploding with yeah. young people, yeah. and so it was like I we are sitting here believing God yes, to yes. do it again, and we do are sharing the the history because you can't you can't understand what God is doing or what yeah. He's going to do until you understand the stock you came from yeah. or the that's foundation right, that's, that's right. been laid that's for right. you. Yeah. And so we've been giving them the history and saying, hey y'all, it's time do it again what we're doing right. and so I, I really were sensing and we're feeling like that for the last wow. year like you said they've mm-hmm. been underground and God yes. has been built and there's this swelling mm-hmm. going on in yes. the spirit it's like and the Lord told me on Monday it's these cisterns that are under the ground that okay. are going to yes. break yes. open yeah. and the water right. is going to flow yes. and okay. that the drought That's is going to be over and it's going to start with these young people yeah. and I remember the first thing God told me is that it would be, I, I, I'd have to go back and read the prophetic word yeah. that people would be like, basically, yeah. like you say, in every place, yeah. and they would be pulling themselves yeah. together. They didn't need somebody Come to on. preach to them, somebody yeah. to lift them up. Yeah. But they were yeah. all begin, yeah. beginning up under yeah. and saying all of a sudden they would burst forth together. Yes. And, and when they come, if they would be mighty, it would be a yeah. fortress to be yeah. dealt with. It's, it's another army so God, it's up. another army rising yes, up. I don't ma'am. care what it looks yes, like. Ma'am. We can begin to 
stand and believe yes, God yes. and yes. know that yes. it's about that. How many say it's about to happen? Yes, 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 well, I know yes. we've been here longer than we normally do, but <laughs> I can feel the power of God and what He's about yes. and what we are in position aligned to yes, do. Position. Praise you, yes. Jesus. Yes. Let me ask you all to just lead us in prayer to close with prayer. God, for this time. God, yes, we just Lord. thank you for your spirit, you, God. We thank yes. you for the yes. movement yes. of yes. your yes, spirit, Jesus. Father God. You said Move you're going to God. pour yes. out yes. your spirit upon yes. this yes. generation, yes. Father God. Yes. You said all of it, God. But yes. God, God, we, we, we believe in that you're yes. going to pour out your spirit, God. Yes. And we stand yes. open yes. with our hands yes. up, yes. with our eyes up, yes. with our hearts yes. open, yes. and Lord, just say, God, to do what you do, God. Do it again, God. Do it again, God. Whatever you're going to do, God, just don't do, us, God. don't do it without us, God. Don't do it without us, God. Have your way. In yes, our life, God, in every young person's life, in every, in every God, marriage, in Father God, in right now, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in, name in every Jesus, household, right now, God, in the right name now, of Jesus, God, of Jesus, God. Jesus do what you do, Lord, God, and let's be God. Do what you do, and let's be God, Father God. Have your way, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that every marriage that may be struggling, Father God, every person that may be in a broken state, Father God, that you would begin to do a new thing on the inside yeah. of them, Lord. Your word yes, says that Lord, you bind Jesus. up the yes. wounds yes. and that yes. you Lord heal Jesus. their hearts. So, Lord, I thank you for the binding that is taking yes. place yes. right Lord, now. Lord, I thank God. you for the healing that is taking place, yes. Lord. Lord. God, thank and I thank you for a spirit of forgiveness that is Jesus. even moving on the inside yes. of each person under the sound yes. of our voice, yes. Father. Yes. Lord, God, that Jesus. they would be able to go back and forgive, yes. Lord, yes. in the yes. name of Jesus. God, that they would even be able to admit the things, Lord, that they might have missed and done wrong, Lord. God, that you would bring healing to the heart. Homes, Father God, so it can be a stable foundation for the generation that is to come, Lord God. We just thank you and we praise you, Lord, for doing a new thing and pouring out your spirit on every family in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we tell the power of God. And I won't forget the word that he gave me on Tuesday morning. He's doing a new thing, and he said. A word to me that he had yes, never said Lord. before. Yes. He said, I am yes. massaging heart. Yes. 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 There is hurts. Yes. There is aching. Yes. Yes. There is longing. Yes. There is loneliness. Yes. Yes. But God says, he's massaging yes. the heart. Yes. Allow him yes. this Lord. day. Yes. Allow him yes. this night to massage yes. your heart. Yes. Just yes. lift your hands yes. up wherever yes. you yes. are yes. and receive yes. receive yes. the yes. love, the healing right now, of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Right now, Anything you need to throw heart. out Jesus. that's Jesus. keeping it from coming in, remove the whole stony heart. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Dr. Bev, as you were saying that, I saw the massaging of the heart. And sometimes when things happen in your body, and the heart is going down, they do have to get in there and they got to okay, pump it themselves okay. to get the blood to flow. And <laughs> so right. I just see, I see fresh blood uh, flowing hallelujah. through hallelujah. the body. And so yes. there's things that blood yes. might not have been circulating through before yes. in areas of your life yes. that might, might be dead. But God, as he massages your heart, just know yes. that those Lord. parts of Thank your you. body, your life, they're going to work yes. again and they're yes. going to work it right for you. So we just release yes. the flow tonight yes. into your and life. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I tell you what, just tap in wherever you are. Just tap in. As we go off the air, you just tap in. God's going to do something to you and through you this night. God said he's going to visit some people in dreams and visions. He's going to break some things yes, yes, that you've been dealing yes, with. Yes, he yes, said, I'm yes, about to break it, yes, and I'm going to break yes, it wide open yes, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God.
Hallelujah. Oh, so I just tell you to just Ooh, Lord. God bless you. Hallelujah. <laughs> we'll probably get going. This is going to ignite Thank tomorrow you. tomorrow Thank night you. at seven yes, o'clock here seven. in Maranatha. Yes. We just invite you on in. We're about to yes. we're about to explode yes. in the name of Jesus. In the yes. name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. We're looking for God to do yes. some yes. awesome and yes. mighty yes. things. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Well, God bless you all. Yeah, and thank you, Pastor <laughs> Roxanne and Pastor Charles. Thanks, Charles. See, y'all got me started. Y'all got me going. Oh, my God. Okay. I love you. God is so good. I love you all. Be blessed. Be blessed. Give him the praise.